Hello again, it is Paul here, and I am messing about with the newest release of uh, Linux Multimedia Studio, or Let's Make Music Studio, or something like that, or Let's Make Music Simple. <laughs> it's been back renamed, but it's based off of Linux Multimedia Studio to start with, so I'm just going to keep calling it that. Anyhow, I'm on version 1.1.3, which is the latest. It says pre-release here, but... It's actually on the stable download of all things, so if you go to uh, lmms.io, if you go to the old SourceForge link, it will still go to this. It'll just redirect, so don't worry too much about that. But I am playing around with some new instruments that are in the instrument plugins, so if you click up that little tiny box here, as all most of the instruments are known, kicker's been changed. I might go over a review of that because it's been updated. But we have a couple new instruments in here, and the one I'm going to try covering is Monstro, and I think Watson is an interesting one. And of course, some of them are obvious enough to figure out, but Monstro and Watson have some real potential, I think. And, but they aren't really covered in depth. They're not quite as complex as the internals for Xenad sub effects, but that's been covered already. But these two, and I'm just going to cover Monstro right now. So you're wondering, like, what the heck is Monstro? Monstro is a lot like. Oh, where is it? It's a lot like Triple Oscillator. So if I open up Triple Oscillator right here. You have three oscillators and ways of mixing, and each oscillator gets its own waveform, and you can detune it and all that. So, in a way, if I go to Monster here, under Operators, it's kind of like the same stuff here, but the layout is a little different. But in a way, Monstro is like triple oscillator on crack. <laughs> There's no better way to describe it, but... That's what it, it kind of is like. So I don't need triple oscillator. Everyone knows how to use that. It's simple enough. But you have the operators and you have a matrix. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to explore this in depth. I'm just going to try to cover this basically. So on the operators, let's see, it's just like a triple oscillator in some ways. Other than the layout being a little different. And you can even have triggers with sinks and, and uh, different ways of doing it. So let's see. And I'll just start playing this here. <laughs> try to play around and get a different sound. And you have more waveforms too. There's more waveforms than triple S there is. So... is down here for uh, Bank So 2 and Bank 03. But what we also have are envelopes here, which kind of work a lot like 
this envelope, but they're part of the plugin, so let's play with that a little bit. And envelopes here and the LFOs here. Yeah, there's two envelopes and two LFOs, which are kind of like these, but you don't have the visuals to see what they're doing. That's the only thing. But they're part of the bank here, so I'm going to mess with these. They probably won't do anything at the moment, so you can pick your waves for your LFOs, your rates, and I think we can tempo sync them, so let's make one like a quarter note, and I'm not going to mess with that. An envelope is kind of like this envelope, but like I said, there's no visual to it, so you just have to go with on the dial. Sustains, please. Slope, I think, on this is mount negative or positive. So if you go with that, it's positive. It's, it's pretty much the amount, I think. It's the same thing like that. Could be wrong, but I think that's how it works. So slope, we just go positive there. But it's like a multiplier more so than the amount on this one. And such like that. And I don't think it's going to do anything different just yet, so I'll play it. Maybe a little, but not so much. Where it comes in is the matrix. And the matrix is what really does everything crazy with these two LFOs and these two envelopes. And you can control volume, pitch, phase, pulse width, and everything else. As you see, there's envelope, envelope, and LFOs for every aspect. So basically what you're doing is you're modifying these knobs with the things on the matrix. So I'll start playing with that. <laughs> single little part of the triple oscillator. So, so the triple oscillator to do the same thing you'd have to dump a controller rack to control all the knobs and this thing has it built in so it's kind of neat and since there's no envelope controller in this software yet it also has the envelope features so every time the trigger is right from the start of the envelope for that note it will go do the envelope and there's no controller rack function equal to that right now, so this thing allows you to do some stuff you couldn't by tweaking around the triple oscillator, so it's really neat. Like I said, it's like a super version of triple oscillator, and you get some really deep effects. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like massive. That thing's really still has some uh, more complicated stuff in some regards, but this thing gives you really big sound yeah, with modest tweaks and stuff, so. And the basic core part of it is pretty simple. It's just that 
stacking the matrix on it with the two LFOs and two envelopes, mixing all three of these things together, it's pretty crazy. And, uh, next one I'd like to go over is Watson, but I still don't quite understand it. And it's a wavetable synth, and you get like four waves to mix together. And <laughs> I still haven't figured out exactly how it works. But mix these, and I think one of these controls how they mix over time, but I'll have to play with that in another video. But it's just like one of the things I'd like to show you. So that's Monstro and 1.1.3, and if you haven't got it already, it's worth downloading, and it seems stable enough to me, so yeah, get this version of. LMMS if you haven't got it already and play with the new instruments they're really cool so have fun <laughs>